Hello, citizens of the internet. It is Jen here. How you doing? I'm actually quite disturbed. Yesterday, I discovered something that really is upsetting to me, and so now we're going to talk about it. Who uses a Keurig? Oh, I know I do. Convenience coffee. But at what consequence? Yesterday, I actually took one of these K-cups and opened it up in order to recycle it. This is very difficult, and also, there isn't a tutorial on YouTube to show you how, so we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so first of all, scissors, a spoon, and a cup to then go dump the coffee grounds outside. Coffee itself, great for gardens, no big deal. The plastic is completely non-biodegradable, meaning it will stay in perfect K-cup form till the end of time. Now, in 2013, Green Mountain, which is the uh, Keurig brand, made enough of these guys to wrap around the equator, the Earth's equator, 10.5 times. 10.5 times with these little tiny things. And this is just the Keurig brand. There are tons of other ones just like it that are knockoffs. So now we're gonna recycle it. And I'll stop gesturing with scissors. Okay, so there's a hole, obviously, where the Keurig popped it in to make you your awesome awesome whatever it was. So cut the foil all the way to the tip, take your finger in there, and peel the foil all the way off around. Now this needs to be washed before you recycle it. Once you open it, full of coffee grounds, which is fine. Again, dump them outside or into your plants at home. Coffee is great for plants. Good job. So now comes the very fun part. There is a filter inside of here, obviously, so that you don't get coffee grounds inside of your cup. Now, it's glued on and fused to the cup itself, so you have to get in here and actually rip it apart. And um, even though it's a small coffee filter, it's really, it's in there, okay? Now that's all fine and dandy. Now again, you need water for this process. You have to not only wash out the cup, but you have to wash off the foil itself. And there you go. So now the cups go into one recycling bin and your foil goes into the other depending on where you live. This is how many my office ate in a week, or drank in a week, and there's still more for me to do. This is a big concern. Now I'm not saying don't drink from a Keurig because I love it and I'm gonna keep doing it, but coffee for your convenience. Great, but make sure the consequences aren't a forever thing. If you recycle these properly, it's no big deal. So I'm going to start doing this once a week, and I hope you pass on the message and get other people to do this too. Convenience coffee without consequences. Slogan for recycling Keurig cups. I've been Jen. Thanks so much, and have a stellar day.